I believe today that there are people watching this program, watching this video, that are struggling with sickness and disease. And there are thoughts bombarding your mind that God has placed this on you to teach you a lesson. Because of the sin, because of the things you've done and the things you've said. And I sense in my spirit that God wants you to know without a shadow of a doubt that he will never put sickness and disease on you to teach you any lesson, to draw you closer to him. He is a good God, he's a merciful God, and he's a gracious God. The Bible says that it's the goodness of God that leads us to repentance. And so I believe that God wants you to know to stop entertaining those thoughts that says God has placed this on you to teach you a lesson. You see, we live in a fallen world and we have a demonic realm that we have to contend with. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. Demons are out to steal, kill and destroy. And they come with lies and accusations and temptations. And when we believe their lies and their accusations, we give them entry into our lives to wreak havoc. And when we believe the lies of the enemy, we start speaking the lies of the enemy and it takes hold in our lives and we then become sick. But God wants you healed and whole because he doesn't get any glory when his children are struggling with sickness and disease. You see, God loves you. He loves you unconditionally. He loves you the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the Bible says in Romans 8 verse 30, If God is for me, who can be against me? Who dare accuse me if God has called me for his very own? No one. Because God has given me right standing with himself. God is a good God. And I'm come, I've come here today to tell you, that sickness and disease is not of God. And so I'm going to share some scriptures with you. Reminding us of the promises of God and the goodness of God. And I pray that you will meditate on these scriptures and allow it to take root in your heart. And believe them. And trust God that as you declare his word. They are seeds that you are sowing and they will produce a harvest of health in your life. Amen. And so these are the scriptures. 1 John 1 verse 9 says, if we confess our sins because you think that God has placed this on you because you have sinned. And so this is your opportunity to confess your sin. 1 John 1 9 says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just. To forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You are totally forgiven when you confess your sin. And then 3 John 1 verse 2 says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. See, this is the word of God. God saying to you, Beloved. I'm praying for you. And we know that Jesus intercedes for us night and day that our faith will not fail. So this is the word of the Lord. I pray that you prosper and be in health just as your soul prospers. And then Proverbs 10 verse 22. The blessings of the Lord make truly rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Sickness and disease bring sorrow. It steals us of our peace and our joy. It takes our energy from us. 
The blessings of the Lord make truly rich and he adds no sorrow with it. James 1 verse 17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of light with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. And in Matthew 14 verse 14, we know that Jesus came into the world to show us how to live life and listen to this. And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude and he was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. Jesus was moved with compassion. He's always moved with compassion. We have the Holy Spirit inside of us and the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead lives inside of us and gives life to our mortal body. So you can declare over yourself the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ is giving life to my mortal body. And I'm as healed in my body as I am in my spirit who was healed and whole, nothing missing, nothing broken. And then Acts 10 verse 38, listen to this. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. In the scripture, we find out that God wanted Jesus to come to heal all and that the devil is the one oppressing us with sickness and disease. And yes, we live in a fallen world and there's germs and viruses, so don't count those out. But behind all of sickness and disease, even if it's germs and viruses, is this enemy. And so when the enemy comes and says to you, you are going to die of this disease, you tell him, no, God has set, will satisfy me with long, healthy life. God has not placed sickness on disease and disease on me to teach me any lessons. By his stripes, I was healed. And then Isaiah 53 verse 5, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity and the chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we were healed. And so I trust that this encourages you today. That is not God putting sickness and disease on you to teach you a lesson. But right now he wants you healed and whole. Nothing missing, nothing broken. And I would encourage you to take the word of God. To declare them as seeds over your body. Speaking the truth. Speaking the promises of God. And they will produce a harvest of complete health. In Jesus name. And so let me pray for you. Lord we just thank you for your healing anointing upon us. We thank you that right now you are healing. Every sickness. Every disease. In Jesus mighty name. We stand on your promises that you want us healed and whole. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. We repent where we have doubted your promises. We repent that we even considered that you put sickness and disease on us. When you, in fact, as a good God, a merciful God and a gracious God. And so right now I send the word to heal you and to deliver you from destruction. I send the word to heal all your diseases in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Always remember that God loves you and that he's for you and not against you. And I pray even right now you will start moving your body. You will get up and declare I am healed in Jesus name. Amen and amen.